Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here. Lately, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you get custom boot logos on iOS 4.2.1? Now, lately, the Green Poison Untethered Jailbreak came out with its own boot logo that animates the Green Poison logo, and it's kind of cool, but you may want to change it, so that's what this video is for. Now, so, first off, we're going to go into Cydia, and we will be searching for... Apple boot logo so we're gonna be installing this and it's actually gonna install a couple other things that it needs and then it'll reboot your device after it's done head over to settings and in here you'll see a tab called boot logo and yours will be on chronic dev you can switch it to the original one and in extras there really won't be much it'll be Apple I believe and now in order to add our custom ones there are two things we can do one we can go back into Cydia and actually these are animated ones so they move but they're very slow but you'll search for boot whoops, boot logo and you will click search and you'll come up with some that you can install I got the shattering one which I'll show you right now so I'm showing you the shatter effect right now. It is animated, and I'll actually show you how to make your own animated boot logos as well as the wallpapers. So it takes a little bit to actually get it going. It doesn't, and there you go. So as you can see, the frame rate is really bad because it can only run at five frames per second. It's limited to that. So I recommend just going with the wallpaper option. But you can download any of these in Cydia, which I just showed you, and you'll have a nice little animated boot logo. And now I'll be showing you how to put your own boot logos on your device using WinSCP through SSH. And make sure you've watched that video again, it's over there. And right now, make sure to download a wallpaper or something that you'll be using as your boot logo. For the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th Gen, you'll want to have a wallpaper that's 960 by 640 resolution. And you can get plenty of them online, just search for iPhone wallpaper or boot logo and see what you can come up with. Now for all other devices, the 3GS, the 3G, the iPod Touch 3rd and 2nd gen, you'll want to get the resolution of 480 by 320. So once you've got a wallpaper that you want downloaded on your desktop, what you'll actually do is, one second, you'll take it and you will rename it to zero. So make sure that it's renamed as zero dot PNG. So you want it in PNG format and then you'll create a folder name it anything you want I named it the same thing and just put your wallpaper in there so go ahead and start your SSH server and we're gonna be going back once twice three times then going to library and boot logos Whoops. and in here you'll just drag in your folder as you can see I already have zero but I'll copy it anyways and now you have that folder and you don't even need to restart your device you'll just go straight into settings and go back out and then go back in and you will see it there you go you have that folder so you can use it and restart your device to see it so now we're gonna check out my custom boot logo that I made and it doesn't matter if you download it or you make it and there you go now, for some reason my colors turn out reversed must be an editing error but you get the point you can make your own boot logos or download them and use this app so it's pretty cool and yeah if you guys actually want to make your own boot logo animation all you need to do is create a folder name it anything you want and get each frame and name it one two three four five actually start out with zero but you get the point make sure it's in PNG format and the resolution fits your device and then you'll save it in that folder and drag it into the same place pretty much the same process now the frame rates gonna be low that's why I really don't like it I'll just keep my wallpaper and yeah it'll play now I showed you the shatter example I didn't really want to make my own but that's how you get an animated one or a wallpaper boot logo now, thanks for watching, guys. Really hope this works and enjoy your boot logo. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day and please comment, rate, and subscribe.